Hello, I'm Jess Gomez from Intermountain Healthcare. Today we're looking at research from the American Heart Association Scientific Sessions in Chicago. And today I'm joined by Dr. Sonny Biswas from the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute. Thank you so much today for being with us. And we're talking about an exciting abstract that you had looking at coronary calcium. Tell us a little bit about it. Thank you, Jess. I'm um, happy to talk about my research. Um, so first, um, coronary calcium is well established as the best predictor of, of major adverse cardiac events, or MACE for short. Uh, statin therapy has been unequivocally shown to reduce future MACE events, uh, but the interaction between the two is unclear. Um, there's been prior research that's, been, that's shown mixed results. Um, some research has shown that statin use uh, retards uh, coronary calcium progression. Some research shows that statin accelerates calcium progression. With these uncertainties in mind, we decided to uh, uh, examine this relationship in our own patient population. So what we did is we uh, examined a, thousand, a little over 1,000 patients referred for PET CT scanning and also quantitative coronary artery calcium scoring. Um, we then stratified these patients into those who received a statin prescription and those who do not. We then followed them uh, with, uh, we then followed their MACE events over the course of about two years. So that was the uh, that was our methods for our study. And the big the big question is, what did you find? Yeah. So uh, in patient in symptomatic patients who had a coronary artery calcium score of greater than 100, uh, there was no difference in MACE events uh, between those who are on a statin and those who are not on a statin. That was the major finding. However, in patients with uh, high uh, coronary artery calcium scores and extremely high calc scores as defined as CAC scores of 400 to 1,000 and greater, to a th greater than 1,000, there was a trend towards uh, a decrease in MACE events. Mm. As yeah. a clinician, what, is this, what does this tell you and how does this help you in the delivery of care to patients? First, we should note that our study was strictly hypothesis generating. Uh, however, uh, we hope to use the findings in our uh, study to, as a springboard for future research. That being said, we did uh, encounter some very interesting findings. So, number one, we found that um, statin, the statin cohort was clearly a higher risk cohort. That being said, their MACE events was similar to the uh, cohort that did not receive a statin prescription. So it's reassuring to see that uh, statin therapy brings the MACE events down to the control group. Second, although CAC score uh, did not seem to correlate with uh, MACE events, uh, there was a trend towards decreased MACE events uh, in medium to high risk uh, CAC scores defined as 400 to 1,000 and greater than 1,000. This warrants further investigation and um, I think with a properly uh, designed prospective trial, we'll hope to learn more about this. Uh, our final uh, uh, interesting finding is that when looking at statin use and the risk of the PET scan itself um, as as defined by the uh, physician in interpretation, um, there was a uh, correlation between, uh, towards decreased MACE events and the medium risk and high risk PET scans. So this uh, brings up an interesting question whether or not in a symptomatic population um, ischemic burden or risk of the PET score um, predicts MACE events better or whether or not calcium score predicts MACE events better. Um, so those were the main findings of our study. Well, congratulations on this great research. We appreciate you being here today. And thank you so much. We appreciate you joining us. Have a good day.